Joseph F. Say at the Agal International Airport site have long been an issue of concern for the construction of the airport in that we have been trying our very best to preserve these petroglyphs so that we do not destroy peace of our national heritage. So far we have been doing an excellent job of working around the petroglyphs so that we can bring the required personnel and all of the required tools to the site so that we can have these petroglyphs which are located right behind me removed safely and relocated to another site here at Argyle. Now, the petroglyphs are currently sitting on the western end of the runway fence. So that is one good reason why we need to have them removed. Right now, the construction of the Argyle International Airport is at a critical stage where the petroglyphs have to be removed and removed in a quick time so that we could continue to move forward with the project. Now, the National Trust, in collaboration with the IADC, have been working together to ensure the safe removal of these petroglyphs and the construction of a national cultural and heritage park as well as a Carib village on the other side of the airport site, which is the ridge above the Argyle River. Many attempts have been made before to get different persons to come here to relocate these petroglyphs. We have had a team from Egypt who came in a few years ago. They looked at them and they said, yes, we can remove those petroglyphs. They went back to Egypt with all intentions of coming back here, but the turmoil in Egypt prevented them from coming back. We have also since spoken with a team from Australia and they thought that they could move them as well, but the cost was a bit of a constraint. Now we are back to the Egyptians. They came back here in July of 2013 and did all the measurements and left again to go back to Egypt to get their tools, to finalize a date, to come back to St. Vincent. In the meantime that they are in Egypt, we have started some work on the top of the hill. We are behind the petroglyphs where we are doing some excavation, doing all blasting and removing as much rocks as we can in the meantime without interfering with the ones in front here. You're not able to see them right now because the rocks are extremely dirty from all the dust here at Argyle. But once they come back and they clean these rocks, we will, they will reveal the petroglyphs to you. Now, the Egyptians are back in Egypt and they are finalizing, getting a date and so on to come back. The National Trust in the meantime is formalizing that return. The National Trust, mind you, is responsible for the relocation of the petroglyphs. So right now really it is in their hands. They have to corroborate with the Egyptians and they have to ensure that they get back here in a timely manner so that the petroglyphs can be relocated. Now the IDC's board has already approved a $170,000 budget for the relocation of these petroglyphs. So that's what the National Trust has to work with. The deadline for the removal of the petroglyphs is December 31st. It means therefore that the National Trust has to work fast so that these petroglyphs can be removed and not interfere with the smooth progress of the construction of this Argyle International Airport. We are making tremendous strides. We are doing a lot of work. We are now fully into the third kilometer of this site which is where the petroglyphs are located and we are continuing work on the runway right across just to my right on the northeastern side of the runway we have DC defenses being constructed back over on that side to protect the runway so for all intents and purposes these petroglyphs part of our national heritage must be removed or should be removed by December 31st. That really is the deadline. We have not gotten a confirmation date as to the arrival for the Egyptians to come back. We are awaiting that and it is our hope that as soon as they come back that these petroglyphs can be safely relocated to escape where the IADC has acquired 2.75 acres of land for the National Trust to have the petroglyphs relocated and also for the construction of the National Cultural 
and Heritage Park. The team that is expected to return here from Egypt is a nine-member team which consists of archaeologists, architects and engineers and they are to be returning with their complement of tools which will include diamond saw, diamond core drill, hammer drill and grinder etc. So we're expecting a quite a big team coming back from, from Egypt and a full complement of tools which would effectively and safely cut, remove and relocate these petroglyphs. We await the return of the Egyptians. We're going to take you across the site just to show you where we have acquired the lands that escape and uh, to show you whatever else is happening here in the third kilometer of the Argyle International Airport site. It looks like all bush in this area right now and it doesn't look like much but yes this is the 2.75 acres of land that the IADC has acquired for the National Trust to be used as the National Cultural and Heritage Park so that is what will be constructed here the petroglyphs that we were talking about a while ago will be relocated to this site we are expecting to see the reconstruction of what was once an old sugar mill up in that area we still have ruins of the old sugar mill there they're going to reconstruct that part of it will be pretty much functional to give those of us who have never seen a sugar mill in action to give us an idea of what sugar mills looked like long ago how they operated and the other part would be a museum featuring artifacts from the different time periods showing the, the, the pretty much the lifestyle how the people who lived here once how they lived what they did so we're gonna have artifacts from the caribs from the from the awaks from the indians and all the people who passed through argyle now also we we, we we already have some artifacts on hand and those are entrusted to the national trust the national trust has those and we are expecting to see a lot of those artifacts on display here when all of this reconstruction and development is completed so for the time being we await the return of the egyptians and we await the safe relocation of the petroglyphs here at argyle we await action from the national trust so that they can meet the deadline on december 31st well we have moved to another part of the site we have left the third kilometer of the site and we are in the second kilometer close to the IADC's main office. This is called the industrial zone and this is the area in which you will find the asphalt plant and the concrete batching plant and at some point the fire station will also be located on this, the eastern end of the runway. Now the asphalt and the concrete plant are both being assembled behind me and you can see that the assembling process is almost complete. Now, as soon as that process is completed, which would be sometime within this month, towards the end of this month, we are going to be doing some preliminary testing. And by January, we should see the commencement of the actual pavement works here at the Agal International Airport site. Now, we are going to be starting with the concrete works first. So you will see the concrete batching plant in action. We're going to start with that because that is the hardest to do. It is harder actually than the asphalt work that we have to do here at Argyle. Now the areas of the site that would have concrete include the stopway, both heads, as well as the entire apron. And the entire apron consists of three connecting aprons the commercial general aviation and cargo aprons and they're quite big and as we told you before depending on the size of the aircraft we will be able to seat at least 40 aircraft on that apron so it is quite a sizable apron that we are building there the rest of the runway will be using the asphalt concrete and so you will see that work commencing sometime after we have started the concrete works so we await the start of the pavement works i mean come 
2014 it would be a watershed year for the IADC. Quite a bit of work still to be done and our completion date is also in 2014 because we are expecting to have this airport operating towards the end of 2014. We want to thank you so much for the support that you have given to the IADC over the past year and years. Your, your support has been tremendous. We have really appreciated the way that Vincentians at home and abroad as well as others who are not Vincentians have been supporting us in our effort to have the Argyle International Airport constructed. We thank you for your kind comments. Those, are, those that have been critical of us as well, we thank you for those because they have helped us to look at what we are doing and to do it even better. And so we just want to thank everybody 